Thank you for your patience to watch through the whole video. So now I will sign as a student. If you are interested, you can see the next video for um, how it look like on a student side. When you do it, so you click the quizzes. Join a game because it's a practice. It's just directly send you to that. So it will show you the flashcard. You can review a little bit before you do it. Right, so they can choose to review it before you do it. Or I will just ask them to play quiz. All right, so if I finish all the game, it will show me, okay, okay, I got all correct. And which great about quizzes is it will give you the review questions. If students finished early in the beginning of the class, you will tell them like, hey, click on the review and go over the flashcard. Right, so it gives students review, tell them all the answers or let them play again or find a new quiz. So this is how the student interaction part look like. They do a live game if they do a practice or if they do an assignment, it's pretty much similar interaction. So it has the gamification part. It has the direct feedback part. It gives students another chance to do redemption questions for them to practice again. And also it gives students fresh card to review in the end. So it is a really great tool for students to review. Another thing for teachers is it gives you the student data tra tracking. So if you go to reports, so you have exit ticket, exit ticket assigned. You can click here. When students log in, I want to sign in my other account to show you how student data I have more data there so a lot okay I'll just sign in with my another account I have more data here to show you how this looks like for you so if you go to reports throughout the year no matter it's an assignment it's a live game or it's a team game I have all the data so if I click on here it's my Mandarin 7th grade class so you can see this part students did pretty well like most kids got like 90% above and the, she probably had like a technical issue for connection and the questions you can see like oh what's the wrong answer how many kids get it wrong how many kids get it correct right 
an overview of it you can see like what question did they get wrong get right and you click on it shows you i don't put in i haven't put any standards in it but if you want you can align the quiz with your standards so let's take a look at another one which is not that great so 71 percent two kids and you can see questions like this is wrong this is wrong right so this really gives you data tracking about like okay for which question which point which knowledge checking point they didn't get it right and you can recheck it all right this is all about quizzes you can exam students work inform teachers knowledge inform your instruction and you can like see how well they did their tasks right so it's a really great tool for you to do bell work do nows for you to assign homework for you to check and also when you are doing online teaching sometimes you are wonder like oh did i do a good job are they listening to me maybe in the middle of the class you can throw in one game to see how many points they can get and to see how much they understood this is really a great tool for formative assessment engagement and i hope you liked it if you have any questions feel free to reach out to me email me and have a good day thank you 再见。